Dion Lendo once graced these halls at Queen's Royal College. And though he may have left some time ago, his presence is being sorely missed with his passing. Certainly the national community is going to be really, really feeling this untimely passing. The Queen's Royal community is in total shock. Uh, this morning was a very somber morning at the school. We had teachers who would have taught Dion in tears upon hearing the news. We as a school observed a minute of silence in his honor, but certainly we, we still are in shock. While he may have left us at a young age, Mr. Simon believes his contribution to local track and field is immense. Well, as an athlete, he would have been excellent. I mean, when we look at Dion representing Trinidad and Tobago, his university, even from his days at Queen's Royal College in 2010, Dion was part of a victorious team that went to the Adidas Grand Prix in New York and won the championship race with a number of other individuals like J. Hugh Gordon on that particular team. When we look at uh, international meets, the name Dion Lendo is always mentioned as one of the individuals who will contend for medals and he would have left a real legacy in the 400 meters. And how does he hope his memory will live on in the lives of those who knew him? As a fine human being, despite the fact that Trinidad and Tobago will speak about his athletic progress, here at Queen's Royal College we know a young man, as I said, who would have developed and he was a very humble individual, an individual who acknowledged people like Mr. Wayne Makano, his teacher here, who would have played an important role in his development. Dion was very humble. Whenever Dion came back into the country, he always came back here and would refer to all of his teachers as Sir and Miss. He was a very humble individual. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.